What's up, YouTube? My name is Jason, and this is my take. And I'm back, and today we're going to be doing another local artist review. And today we're going to be discussing the new Moose album, The Acts of a Classic Man, Act 2. Now, I know him as Stacy. You guys know him now as Moose, one of our good friends based out of North Carolina. And this man makes dope music. He inspires me. Um, as a, a rapper, singer, producer, mixer, master, man, this, this man does it all and has such an interesting sound, man. I, I wanted to discuss his music and this, this new album that he's dropped because um, he continues to blow me away, man. Now, if I were to describe Moose's music, man, it's, it's really hard to. Now, first and foremost, this is hip hop. Uh, rap more in the trap side of things as well um but man th this dude is a wild card man because if i had to compare him to artists i, I do hear a lot of, of travis scott influences cuddy as well um especially from a melodic side of things um but the production that this dude has man um don't get comfortable because once you get into a track by moose and you really groove in to it just like that, there's a transition. There are new instruments added in. Like the, the vibe can change, but it's still great. Like this man, this man never is comfortable um, in a sound um, or, or something that's going on. And, and I really applaud that. Um, and I'm always in for a thrilling ride with this guy. And this is what we get on Acts of a Classic Man, Act Two. Um, and on his first installment here, um, we just get this man like putting on an actual show, um, little skits here and there um, of him conversing with um, this other person um, that is absolutely hilarious, um, you know, different intermissions um, and things like that. Um, but th th it's just a show. It's, it's just a show that he's putting on. And it boy, did does he put on a show. Um, and so going into... Act two over here, um, we get that same thing. Um, we actually, <laughs> I want to warn you guys now, the intro of this song sees <laughs> Moose in the bathroom, you know, going to the bathroom before the show starts. Um, and he he's, we hear him going to the bathroom. Uh, so if you guys <laughs> don't want to hear that, I would, you can skip and move on. <laughs> We get Moose on this album just diving into things that are really personal to him, um, feeling like the underdog, feeling like um, a lot of people are against him, preying on his downfall, um, as well as just discovering himself as an artist, um, reflecting on where he came from. Um, there's a lot of introspection on this project, and um, it was really cool to hear. Um, so let's dive into it. Let's dive into some of the highlights on this thing. The first being the song BMH, Blow My High. Um, I absolutely enjoy what Moose was doing on this one. Um, and, you know, when we usually hear the term blow my high, we kind of think more in terms of drugs or like um, or like weed, for example, of like someone blowing your high. But I like the, the take that he had on this where he was just more so talking about just the high on life, like the high on like just feeling like I'm in a great place um, and people trying to like blow that type of high, people trying to bring you down when you're in a great place, um, which is very relatable, um, very understandable. And I, and I like how he did that. I really enjoyed the song, That's Me as well. I like how he was talking about, you know, if you if you see me calling or if I'm calling, I just wanted to hear you speak, man. Like I just wanted to make sure you were good. And, and I thought that was cool just cause you know, you know, you can get those random phone calls out of the blue from somebody you don't expect to hear. Or, or make those calls yourself because you don't know the you know how many more moments you may have with people like this life is just so unpredictable it's not promised so um, I, I enjoy hearing moose you know discuss that I also enjoyed the bright melody like that's on the hook especially I think it was perfect on this track uptown was another highlight for me I love I don't know what specific instrument like was playing here but I love the wind instrument that that was playing throughout on this song like like it really was stuck in my head um it, it kind of it felt mysterious like just from a production side of things and um that along with the track drums just made for a great sounding track head top. It was such a standout to me, and it features my guy, Ade Adashina. Um, I don't like the, the song, the melody, like it kind of felt like I was like at a trap, like circus, 
Like, like I think you guys will understand it when you hear this song. I think collaboration-wise, this might have been the best duo on the project. Both deliver amazing verses, and I loved Odd Day's verse in particular because it, like, he was kind of off kilter and a little off beat, but it was perfect. Like, it would have sounded weirder if he was actually on beat or how he was flowing on this thing. Um, so the execution was flawless. What if is one of the couple of times on the song where, like, I hear a lot of Kid Cudi influence, especially with the humming. Um, and man, was the humming infectious by Moose on this track. That humming gave the track so much character, but this song felt really good. Like, like after listening to this song, it, I just felt like everything's gonna be okay. Like, like, and in this crazy life we're living, like, a song like this just reminded me to like, it's, it's gonna be cool, like, I'm good. The song Pray was cool, and Moose kind of discusses the feeling like people are praying on his downfall, and feeling like a lot of people don't believe in him and don't want to see him do well. And there were a couple of lines on here that I that I really liked. They were really short, and really sweet, and, and, I, and I enjoyed them personally. Um, the first being um, when he says, um, the hood has what you need, but it comes with a fee. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, another line that may not really do much for anybody else, I just liked it was, <laughs> You know, him and him talking about needing to keep going um, and not stop. And he says, I can't fold. I can't wrinkle. Like, I like I like that. I, I never heard that <laughs> reference in terms of folding. But um, I, I like how he did that with that line. The song We At was a pretty dope track. Um, there was a feature by a guy named J-Day um, that was pretty cool. <laughs> Guys, I'm just, <laughs> that was a little joke. That's me. I'm actually featured on this album. The song we at um and moose and i are both just um discussing where we came from um it's a song of just like you know going back to your roots and understanding what got you to this point and and our cities really are impactful in that and um allowing us to become the men that we are um so i, I spit a 16 on there it's, it's whatever it's cool nothing crazy <laughs> church in the wild sees moose team up with my guy master steve um, who delivers a verse and produces alongside Moose on this track. Um, this song is amazing. It really gives you like church shout, like vibes with like a hip hop twist to it. And Master Steve comes in singing, oh, uh, vocal game was crazy on this song. The song HYL, Hundred Zeros Pounds, sees Moose team up with producer T1K, who just has been doing his thing in the industry as well. It was good to see these guys team up again because they have great chemistry. Moose once again does that layer like hum um, on this song on the hook and it just, oh man, it's so good. I love how Moose ended this album with the song Outro Unleashed. This was him just like laying it out and saying, look, like I know where I am with this music. I know what I'm doing in my, you know, continuous improvement. Um, like I feel like there's no ceiling for me. Like I am unleashed, um, and I couldn't agree more. Um, just seeing what this dude is doing, man, on all ends, man, from his writing to his producing to his engineering, and just like this vibe that he's created and the sound that he's created for himself, and then has become so comfortable in, man. It's just so refreshing. It's so great to hear it and knowing him personally and seeing what he's been doing in these last few years, man, has just been so inspiring. A few like cons or some things to point out, um, first and foremost, um, there were some times, you know, when it comes to the mixing and different things where you can't fully maybe make out um, what Moose is saying. Um, overall, I, I, I personally know and get the sense of, you know, what he's saying and what he's rapping about, but there are some times where you may not, I in particular may not have, heard or understood some things. So maybe more from a mixing perspective, that was one thing that stuck out. The song Aim, which was which came right off of that bathroom intro that I mentioned, um, wasn't a bad song. I just think that when you get into this whole album, this song kind of sticks out because it's like, man, like this song, like I thought this song was really good being that it was like the first track, but then you hear all these other amazing tracks and it's like, oh, like this song is good. It's just not like, like what these other songs were, um, which which is always kind of weird when you come back around and get into the album. It's like, oh, like this track is good. It's just like the strength of the other ones, just th this one isn't there. Um, so that, that's what I would say about AIM. Another song which I enjoyed was Pressure. 
Um, I think that Moose really stole the show. I thought Medusa's verse was pretty cool, um, but you know, both together didn't provide like a powerful song like other collabs on the project. Um, Moose's flow was great and how he came in right after Medusa. Um, but this is another track like Pressure that just didn't pack that punch like the other ones did. So listen, man, I, I suggest you guys check this project out. If you if you want to be in for, for a thrilling, like unpredictable ride, um, check this project out, man. Moose is a great artist, man, and he really just does so much on his own. Um, and it, it, like I said, like I enjoy it every time and, and I always get inspired as a creator myself um, when I hear his music. Um, I'm looking forward to what what's what we doing next. We you know Moose, we doing Act Three. Like like what's going on, man? I'm I'm ready. Um, great work, man. You guys, I have the link to the album um, in the description. Like definitely check it out. I'm gonna give this project a seven out of ten. So what did you guys think of Moose's album Acts of a Classic Man Part Two? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What were some of your favorite tracks? Let's have a discussion down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching another week of Jason's Take. Um, next week, man, we got some exciting projects. We got Corday, we got Earl Sweatshirt, man. Um, I'm really excited about next week. Um, so tune in, like, and subscribe to the channel. I'm Jason. This has been my take, and I'll see you guys next time.